Crawford's been saying, and I know you've heard this, he wants to go up to 168 and fight Canelo if Canelo beats Charlo. What do you think about that? Well, Too Crawford, much weight? Or Crawford's what talented, man. It is a big risk because Canelo's very strong. He's already a, a full-grown body size, uh, 168. But, uh, but look, uh, Canelo's not taller than Crawford. Uh, He's, I don't think at this point, I don't think he's, he's, he's talented, more t he has more talent than, uh, than Crawford. I think Crawford's just full of talent. He could switch, he could fight both sides. I think it'll be an interesting fight. I think it's, it's an interesting it's, fight. Plus, Canelo, it sounds like a little bit to me you're thinking Canelo, I mean, uh, well, uh, Crawford will go win this. I, I think he could, bro. Uh, you know, Canelo's, is, you know, I want to see Canelo's next fight. And it's, kind of, it's just around the corner. So. If I see a Canelo that we were seeing four or five fights ago, you know, three years ago, two, three years ago, then then I, I, I'd say Canelo. But Canelo's last two performances, I, I probably lean towards Crawford, man. And do and you feel like if Crawford, because he's number one pound for pound, no he doubt, but if he beats Canelo, where does that put him all time? Well, he's, he already is. He already is an all time. It's just gonna, he's just going to become a... a one of those all-time greats, you know. He already is, a, a, you know, one of the best fighters in, in the in the last 20, 30 years. You know, he's already proven it. But uh, but yeah, if he goes up all those what like three divisions and beats uh, and beats Canelo for undisputed, uh, that, that, that shit would be crazy. He'd be the first, the first to beat uh, undisputed uh, in three weight divisions uh, on the four belt era. And he would get the most, that would give him the most world titles in history as well. Hell, no, that, would, that would be insane, man. That would be awesome. Does that, that put him above Mayweather, above Pacquiao? So right now, I think you still have to put Pacquiao and Mayweather above Crawford. See, the thing is that, you know, those guys did a lot, man. Those guys did so much, you know, in boxing, Pacquiao and uh, and, 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 and Mayweather. They they just did so much in boxing. But, you know, they were in the, in, uh, in, 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 in the years where, you know, a lot of fights were maybe, I'm not saying easy fights for them. But uh, I don't know. You know, if we go back to the welterweight division with, uh, you know, in the 80s with the Leonard, uh, Durant, uh, uh, Thomas Hearns, uh, all those big names, and then there's many more, you know, at 150, 154 also, because both uh, Mayweather and Packer competed at 154. It would be different, man. Those guys were just too big, too strong, uh, and could have beat those guys. So, you know, uh, does Crawford also. Could have Crawford compete against those guys? I think so too. I think he could have. Mayweather could have. Pacquiao could have also. But could could they beat them? I don't know. It, it, it's a hard one because guys like Thomas Hearns, Leonard, Duran, they were hard, man. They were difficult, man. It was just different boxing back then. 15 rounds? 15 rounds. It's tough, man. Tough to say. These guys would have beat those guys easy. It's it's tough, man. Because they like 15 rounds, it's a lot more... Because the 12 rounds, you know, you can be like, okay, I'm on a decision, but trying to say I'm going to win a decision over 15 rounds. It's tough, man. It's tough. You know, and 15 rounds is, is one of those uh, uh, rounds where you hardly ever seen a draw, you know, because because uh, it's, a, it's a number that, you know, uh, you, you don't you don't see draws unless there's a few knockdowns. And, you know, the numbers add up to be a draw, but you hardly ever seen draws, you know, at 15 rounds, you know. So, you know, I'm, 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 I'm uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, and, and I don't know, I might be wrong, but I think... Those, that era, you know, of, of fighters. Do you feel like that's the best era? If it's you're being probably honest? the best era. You know, me growing up watching them as a kid and 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 seeing those fights. You know, shit, seeing Leonard fight and and uh, Salvador Sanchez, you know, Alfredo Gomez, yeah. every weight class had a monster, pretty different, much. Bro, it's different. <laughs> it was different. Now moving on, if Errol Spence is gonna fight Terence, I don't. You know, we don't think it's gonna be December. I'm thinking maybe next year, what March, Hopefully. April. Yeah, that'd be nice. That, he needs to he needs to take some time off, and uh, I would I would rather see him take a, a tuna fight before but you know I'm, who am i you know that, that's their <laughs> decision you know so the biggest worst kept secret in boxing is more than likely going to be uh tank